We have. We found the smallest of the tolls. We've got not just one of them, but two of them, and they are absolutely precious. Now, we've actually seen them for quite some time this morning. They're just moving in and out of the tree line, and that's exactly what we've been doing, winding along the Mara River on roads that I don't think many people drive on, which is great. It's different, interesting. So we found this beautiful group. And they just had a drink, they went down, but unfortunately we couldn't see it, we could just hear it. And now they're back up, ready to feed. How cool is this? Just standing out in the open, and they're relatively young. And what I've noticed is that these two use any excuse to run. Uh, they really enjoy it, they're quite playful with one another. So maybe they will put on a little bit of a show for us. There we go. I'm just going to go over and say hello. Now they're almost the same age, I think the one at the back is a little bit younger. I think that one is just shy of six months. And the other must be just over six months. They're not teeny tiny. They're definitely not wobbly on their feet. Yeah, they are so precious. These are honestly one of the most amazing animals that we have out here. I could actually sit and watch giraffe. But my favorite thing to do with giraffe is, of course, encounter them on foot. Especially if you can catch them in an open area. And you can imagine they're quite relaxed. You often see giraffe. They're not too scared of too many things. Obviously, run from lions, but otherwise, they just uh, stop and stare and watch everybody from a distance. Now, I have to ask you a question, Alice. Can you hear a ticking sound? If not, fantastic. Yeah, that little one looked like it wanted to suckle. Now, I've actually seen Mom turn this one away. This, this is the second time this morning, so she, she's obviously uh, not um, not wanting, well, not ready to let her little one suckle. Let's see if she stands still this time. No, I'm just going to go over and have a rub. <laughs> no wonder. But they're very curious of us because they'll come closer and then they get scared and then they run away. Now, Proud Cat Mama, you're wondering how long can a giraffe go without water? Uh, it's, well, it, I suppose a, a couple of days, but um, I remember a lot of the times when these giraffe are feeding, it's early in the morning. So the vegetation will be covered in dew most of the time, and uh, and they feed along the shrubs that are also on the ground, and it's collecting a lot of dew too. So they, they are still getting some moisture content. So it's not like they're not drinking. What are they looking at, though? The, both adults are standing and staring into that thicket. Now, they've got incredible eyesight, as we know, and like I just said to you, they don't normally run from too many predators. Unless it's an you know, entire pride of lions, they might you know, just stand in the distance, watch, run a little bit, then stop and stare again. So I wonder if there isn't something sitting on the bank. They don't make too many alarm calls. The only time I've ever heard a giraffe making a sound was when I've told you the story when we were sitting with a leopard and she was up on a termite mound and we were, no, we were watching the giraffe, sorry. And the next minute the giraffe turned their attention to the termite mound and went, <laughs> like something like that. It was a bizarre sound. And my tracker then said, there's a leopard next to us up on the termite mound watching the giraffe. It was epic. Anyways, uh, Stephanie, you're wondering, how do giraffes sleep? You've never seen one sleeping before? Um, quite easily, actually. Going down is fine. It's getting up that's uh, the problem. So because they're so tall, uh, they sort of sit down as if... A a horse we're going to sit down so the, the same sort of method and the only difference is is that they keep their heads up so they don't curl their heads and put them lay them well stretch them out down on the ground or tuck them underneath their legs should we, should we go up a little bit further i can do that should we reposition or are you happy here okay we're very, they just managed to can you believe it the giraffe managed to get a bit too far away from us <laughs> so we'll go up further and um, they don't sit down for too long, Stephanie, so it's, you know, a couple of hours here and there when they can. You normally see giraffes sitting down on very windy days, surprisingly. I mean, it wouldn't, not surprisingly, it wouldn't be nice to have your head up in the wind, and it's windy here often. You see, they're running. They'll get, eventually get used to the vehicles. But then they go together, and I'm sure they try and turn it into a game. Off they go. Everybody seems to be on edge in parlor in the distance has got their eyes open, ears pricked, looking around. So I wonder who's been moving around here through the night that's given these animals a fright. 
Hmm, but we, that's why we're here, I suppose. And hopefully Manu and I are going to find out who it is. Right, but maybe something that could be lurking in the bushes is a leopard. And speaking of leopards, Tristan's got Shadow and her cub. Let's jump back on board with him.